Okay, off camera I did some grinding. I didn't mean to get all the way up to level 7, but I wanted to get enough money to buy a few of the books. So the books give you 10 in a stat, I did the 100 pull-ups to get 16 strength. And I think I bought like nachos or something for healing. Movie Madness, Fallen That Star. So that's the one that's played by Chris Evans, Captain America, Human Torch, and a bunch of other crap. Okay, he is down. Luckily the Flash doesn't actually deal any damage, but it's still annoying that's just like the roars on Monster Hunter, how it's going to set you up for something else. Now the chip wagon, let me see. Buffalo Burger will give you strength. Croque Masseur will give you speed. French fries are just healing, nothing really fancy there. That's the director, don't panic. really annoying part about the Yoshi ripoff here is that he has range on you. And unfortunately, like, at times there's just random walls here. And I say random because those aren't here once this little scenario ends. They will disappear and, yeah. So we took down the mocap guys. Okay, here's something that old school beat em up players may remember how you have to break stuff in a certain time frame. I've never lost this, so I don't know what happens if the timer runs out, but you can see when it when you break it he'll flee and then you're able to move forward. I've never gotten the counter to work. Just in case you're wondering, because yes, I know it is. You're supposed to push A when you're getting hit, but for some reason it just doesn't work. Now there are enemies here. Too, so I'm getting ready to throw the rock. And of course I just flat out miss. They only give you like a quarter, so nothing to cry over missing or anything. See, I actually wanted to finish him off, but... He's stuck in the corner, I'm not going to waste all too much time here. I don't even know if you can block their fire breath, but that's what you have to immediately worry about right here, because you're starting in close range to one of them. You know what? Knives, take care of them. in. So yeah, I gave up on the dollar there so I can get the two dollar coins instead. Here's the director again. Those are the suicide bomber guys. I 
I tried to jump over them, you can see how successful I was. See, so yeah, I don't even know what the point of summoning knives is. <laughs> I didn't think you could block their laser, but apparently you can. But that's only if you're facing it. Because if you choose to focus on the other guys for some reason, you know, like they're coming up behind you, you don't get to do anything. And it's also important to note they fire that those really fast. Can't even jump over them. This is from Street Fighter 2. That's where I remember it from. There's probably other places where it appeared, but yeah, we're down already. And I almost killed myself with a rock. So keep in mind that's a lot easier doing multiplayer. You can have one person zone while the other one pounds on it. Alternatively, you can just get more strength and stuff. Lucas Lee, Ramona's second evil ex-boyfriend. Powers, look him up on the web. So right there he does the head bone. He gets up and he hits me harder than I hit him. Okay, that move is not really that great. So right there I'm trying to do the counter, but yeah. <laughs> And kaboom. So I forgot what he was worth, but he was actually worth a decent amount. So anyway, we're going to take our gains and go to uh, the bookstore to buy more stuff. So yeah, it says the only store here is the chip wagon. Got 50 bucks, not too shabby. Killed 27 people in the process, but that's just a minor detail, right? So you can see Scott and Ramona are enjoying themselves while Steven and uh, Kim are looking on. Less than amused. So yeah, you can do the parking lot if you just want the one store. So we actually pack a bit of a punch now.
that was the counter, by the way. It looks like you can only use it for the initial hit. Yeah, he did that. I'll pull up the store thing to see what gives you the best return. So, tacos will give you speed, a little bit of EXP. You can get the Burrito Grande. This will give you a little bit more defense, this will give you strength, this gives you weapons. You know, let's go for punching stuff really hard. on that first hit, it looks like. So once again, we're going to have the guys come out of the bus. In case you're wondering what we're doing, I'm trying to get to Wallace's shop, just to show you guys. See if maybe you can go under or something. Okay, where was I missed? Locks Feast to get an extra life, but it's pretty pricey. You have Ambrosia. I actually have a list of what everything here does, just in case you're wondering. Ambrosia is the best healing item in the game, I think. It says 200 HP GP. Okay, as for Wallace's shop, I had a, the doorbell ring, so I had to get up and get it. Tolox Feast is the way to get one ups until you pay off your rental fees. You have Ambrosia for healing, it's 200 HP GP. It gives you a uh, 1200 XP as well as Hyper, or no, not Hyper. You can carry it to go as a revival item, it looks like. Bionic Arm, this is 50 strength. You are better off getting the 101 push ups. It's slightly cheaper than this and it gives the exact same in that case. Although the 101 push ups will also give you XP, not just strength. Like, this is strength alone. This one is GP, 30 GP, 30 defense, 30 weapons, and then 50 speed. Obviously speed, the porcupine referenced Sonic, Final Fantasy, Bionic Commando. Not entirely sure what the Ambrosia is supposed to be, if that's just supposed to be like how... Oh, 
game was that? Etrian Odyssey has that, or...? Oh. But yeah, that was the whole reason we came here, and now that you know how to find it, you can come here whenever you need to. But that is it for the second part. We'll move on to the third one in a little bit. And here on the next for watching, and goodbye.